what we're going to do now is go through using the centralized payment functionality in Dynamics 365 for operations. This will allow us to receive one check, one deposit from customers in multiple legal entities or do one check or one ACH payment to vendors in multiple legal entities and the individual transactions will be settled in each of the legal entities and the due to froms between the legal entities will be set up automatically. There is just a little bit of setup that we need to do before that. So let's walk through that. The first is we need to set up intercompany accounting and that's in general ledger posting setup intercompany accounting. Now you'll notice that we need an entry in this setup for each combination of originating company and destination company. The top part of the screen tells AX what are the due to from the intercompany accounts that are automatically debited and credited when these transactions are done across legal entities. And the bottom part is to give us the opportunity to say that for these particular types of intercompany transactions, we want to use a parameter other than the default, for example, around where the cash discount gets posted, where the interest gets posted, that sort of thing. The next part of the setup that we need to do is we need to make sure that we have an organizational hierarchy. And so we go to org, administration, organizations, and then organization hierarchies. We need to set up an organizational hierarchy with a purpose of centralized payments. And we need to make sure that that hierarchy includes all the legal entities that we want to include in our centralized payments processing. The last part is we need to make sure that these vendors across the legal entities or customer across the legal entities are all related through the global address book. And so in this case, the vendor that I'm using is property management. So let's just find this vendor. And once we find this vendor, you can see that this vendor is also a vendor in other legal entities. You can see that the vendor in the various legal entities does not need to have the same account number, but they do need to be related, as I said, through the global address book. So with that set up, let's go ahead and create a payment journal for our centralized payments. So we go through the normal process of creating a payment journal and selecting the vendor in the payment journal. And then here's where the process is different than the normal process and is much faster and much better than the normal process. You'll notice that we're seeing here invoices for the multiple legal entities. So in this case, this invoice is for USMF. This invoice is for DEMF. And we would have invoices, could have invoices, for all of the legal entities that we had defined as part of our organizational hierarchy. So in this case, we just go through and select the invoices that we want to pay. I specifically wanted to point out that this message that you may get, particularly if your vendors were set up at different times and perhaps have different remittance addresses. What AX is telling us would be a normal thing that we would expect, that these invoices might have different remittance addresses. In that case, we would just go to the remittance tab and select the remittance address that we wanted to have for our common payment. And in this case, again, we would go through and select all the invoices that we wanted to pay and then click OK and we are ready to go on to the next vendor for this payment run. Thank you.